I just received in the mail an Acer Chromebook that I bought from Groupon and shockingly it came installed with Arabic as its native language. So the first thing you have to do is be able to run through the setup screens. You basically have to choose your wireless, your Wi-Fi, and put your Wi-Fi password in there. And I think you can figure that out. I'm going to give you a link to a video below that will walk you through that, at least with English screens. And the Arabic screen should not be much different. Then when you open Chrome or anything else, you have Arabic everywhere and it's hard to navigate because you don't know what you're reading, right? So the question that I'm going to answer in this video is how you then switch back to English when you can't read Arabic. First thing you do is you have to scroll down. You go to the settings page. So from your browser, type Chrome colon backslash backslash settings. From there, you have to go down all the way to the bottom and click this little link, which I think says uh, show advanced settings. Okay, now you've got a lot more settings here, and now you can scroll down. And I saw some other blogs that said to go uh, fifth from the bottom. I think the problem was when you didn't have the advanced settings shown, then fifth from the bottom is different. Okay, so after showing the advanced options here, um, if you find the HTTPS, which you should be able to read. Okay, so we're going to go down here, click advanced options, and go all the way to the bottom, and then go back up till you see HTTPSSL which is here. You see that's in English and you go up to and this is languages. So we click that, we come down here, we click this, we come here and we're going to pick English or any version of English just so we can get our uh, our letters back where we can read them if you're English. So um, rather than searching a long time here for other Englishes, I'm going to pick uh, English of UK and since this is right to left, let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, so we're going to click this. I think that's the OK. And then this button here, from based on other screens I've seen, says display Google Chrome in this language. You click that. And then, I think this is sign off and sign back on. You can see it's either rebooting or making me sign on again. And now we're back here. Sign on with my password. And yay, we have English. So the tabs up here are now in English. And if we open other things, we now see English. So sorry for the quality of the video. I don't know how to do a screenshot uh, yet on this book, this Chromebook. And that's how you switch your languages from Arabic to English on a Chromebook.